Hello guys and welcome to Distant Worlds, uh, Distant Worlds Universe, modded by the Bacon mod, Retreat UE, and these two mods are quite easily sort of brought together by the Daz Chrome Blue mod, and um, Daz Tactic is a well-known YouTuber, so uh, shout out to, to him for combining uh, these these two mods uh, quite easily and uh, yeah he's, he's one of the youtubers I follow seems like a really nice and um, genuine guy so I want to play Distant Worlds for a couple of reasons um, the first is that I really love it um, and um, second reason is that I'm playing a lot of um, Star Drive at the moment and um, it uh, yeah just in, in a number of aspects reminds me of this game. I you know um, I'm really enjoying Star Drive. We'll be doing a lot more of that on the channel. We're going to try out different races, different difficulties, all that kind of stuff. But I just wanted to pay a little little bit of respect to to, to Distant Worlds, which has some really nice uh, features in there, like gravity wells and things. Um, so uh, we, we we will we'll get into that. And um, the other reason why I wanted to play it is because. Um, the uh, Distant Worlds 2 is coming out, and I kind of feel like um, everybody's going to get really excited about Distant Worlds 2. And, uh, you know, I might get excited about it. I'm definitely going to have a look at it on the channel. Um, and this might be kind of one of the last opportunities, maybe, to, uh, to take kind of a, a look at this and just enjoy it for what it is. So let's start a new game. I'm just flashing up the options there, guys, to show you that I pretty much deal with everything manually. Uh, I do fully automate the intelligence missions, however. So let's start a new game, and we're going to go custom game as a standard empire. And um, what, should, what galaxy should we go with? I mean, the galaxy sizes are absolutely mental, and that, that is brilliant. Um, I'm going to go, let's go irregular, and stars. Let's... Um, Oh, bacon big, two thousand stars. No, nah, we'll we'll go large. Let's not go too mental, and um, we'll go huge though in terms of number of sectors. Because uh, I'm gonna feel like a, a really big epic game. Um, every expansion yet yeah, pre warp, normal aggression, normal difficulty, um, research costs, expensive. I want a kind of a nice. Slow game where we, um, you know, not in a rush here. Normal space creatures, pirates, normal, pirate strength can be normal, um, and pirate destroyed pirates do not respawn. Yeah, I, I, you know, once once I've killed them off, I want them dead forever. Um, and we leave all of that kind of stuff off. So next is colonization territory, uh, colony prevalence normal. Independent. I'll just I'll, I'll, I'll bump that down a little bit. I just find with the sometimes the independent worlds, um, it's a little bit um, you know it, it can make things a bit easy if you, if you have one near you. Um, though I do believe actually in this mod that the independents actually have um, have armies to defend them. So um, but you know certainly more armies in the in the vanilla colony influence range. Um, yeah, this, I tell you what, this is something. I'm, I'm going to just drop this down a bit. So basically, you need a colony within your influence range. Uh, you need the planet, rather, in your influence range if you're going to be able to colonize it. And I think that maybe Star Drive could do with something like this, where, um, you know, you, you could, it's very annoying when an alien race comes and basically snipes a world from under you when you're just getting off the off the ground. I mean, it brings its own challenges, but I think just having the need for it to be in an influence range is um, just kind of keeps things a little bit more disciplined. Um, and uh, so, the, yeah, so, so the influence range I'm going to reduce down a bit. So this is then enforced colony range limits. So that's what I'm on about. Is really I want um, one and a half sectors. So there's 15 by 15. One and a half. I think I think that's fair enough. That that should be all right. Um, now then, let's look at the race. There's absolutely loads of them, um, particularly because they're of the mods. Um, but Ooh, what are they? oh gosh, she looks like 
Looks like she needs a good nap. Um, humanoid, continental, uh, quite aggressive, slightly cautious. Um, so better spies, gifted scientists. Yeah, let's try the let's try the ex humans then. And um, we can read more about the race, can we? Oh yeah, gosh, there's quite a lot to read. Um, so uh, the ex-human is unnoticeably different to the human, other alien races. Uh, the majority of the difference is in behavioural. The ex-human is able to see uh, differences through slight genetic characteristics common to each race. Um, okay, okay, look, I guess I won't read all of this. There's there's loads to go through. Um, so they're a close match to the humans, with a few minor differences. Um, okay, same objectives, direct competitor to the humans. Okay, well look, let's um, let's uh, let's pick them. I think. So close that, and uh, our empire. So let's go as um, well the X Terran. Empire. Uh, ooh, lots of different uh, symbols. Oh, yeah! Come on, let's let's go home world. Yeah, that is what we're doing. Galaxy starting position. Um, let's go on the edge. It'll make things perhaps a bit more difficult in terms of expansion, but. Um, so home system, yeah, normal size, yeah, pre-warp, yeah, um, corruption, well, well, that's fine. And so we are, well, we want an empire, don't we? So why don't we go, what is military dictatorship? Less approval, corruption is normal, growth rate, research speed, normal, colony income is increased. Yeah, but let's, um, let's go with a military dictatorship. Um, just out, of, just out of interest, if we went to Republic, approval's normal, corruption is uh, minus 15%, colony income more, troop recruitment war weariness normal, anyway, so war weariness minus 60, fine. Uh, other empires then? Um, let's go for 12 other empires, we will allow independent alien colonies there to form empires. And um, victory conditions then. So this is uh, quite in depth as to the various. Uh, this, this I tell you what needs this. Stellaris needs this. Uh, it's, it boggles my mind that Stellaris doesn't have like a peaceful victory thing. That it is basically like um, like Europa Universalis. Um, you know where you just keep on going and going and going, which really works for. European science, but it doesn't doesn't really work for Stellaris. I get so bored. Uh, anyway, we're not talking about Stellaris, Ben. We're talking about distant worlds. So territory. I mean, these look quite low, but we're talking about you know bloody hundreds and hundreds of uh, stars. So let's go with that. Um, yeah, we'll just bump this up. Just you know, I don't think any of this allow tech trading. Mm, no. We will allow the giant clactors, cultors. Uh, allow the story events. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we'll allow all of this. Yeah. Okay, let's start the game. Wait for it to generate the galaxy. Okay, welcome to your empire. It's a bit of a summary as to what we should perhaps be doing, and um, uh, yeah, we won't go through all of that. Um, I do want the game to be paused, which it is. No, it's not. Pause, for God's sake. Uh, right, so this is our starting world. Uh, Cymerth Major 2. Jesus Christ, we need to... Um, 
let's um uh we can definitely because i've done it before i think maybe it's in colony tabs um which is up here let's let's rename it christ Cymurth major 2 no we'll call it um x terra prime now the tax rate is massive 21 percent um let's reduce that down Let's try a 10%. Turn off automation. And um, this is where I might drive people slightly mental, guys. Fair warning here. Um, I want to um, sort out our... Um, not this. Um, where are you? Troops, fleets, construction yards... Build order, design screen, research, um, game. Edit. Oh no, no, don't want to, don't want to edit the game. Okay, get out of that. Just clear that. Sorry. Policy screen. That's what I was after. Okay, so it has been a little while since I've played this, as you can tell. Uh, so basically, I want everything to be well manual. So control manually. Fully automate intelligence. Yeah, I, I'm not really bothered about intelligence. Proportion of agents devo devoted to counterintelligence, right? So I'm going to whack this all the way up to 75%. I primarily want us being defensive. Um, and um, assign espionage missions against an empire when no treaty. And yeah, when we dislike them, that's fine. Colonization, manual. Colonies, uh, facility building um well suggest new colony facilities this is not a game where you build loads and loads of facilities so i think if you suggest them to me tax rates i'll control that manually for now research absolutely design manually and manually these are the fun bits of the game why would you want to uh not do it manually troop recruitment I think I'll fully automate troop recruitment, actually. You do just want troops available. Construction manually. Uh, manually. Uh, so, boarding and capture. Okay, we'll leave that fleet formation manually as well. So, let's apply all of those policies. And um, the first thing I want to do is just have a look at um, what research is going on. So... Um, weapons, we're going for Gravatic weapons. Um, do we want that? Oh, I don't know. No. No, I don't want that at all. Let's go missiles. Oh, we've completed missiles. Oh, all, all the better. All the better. And we've got beams. Beams, missiles, projectiles. Um, hmm... Faster projectiles. What should, what should we do, guys? Should we go... Um, hmm. Oh, maybe torpedoes, actually, rather than missiles. I do like the torpedoes. Hangar bay for fighters. I think pretty much all of these are more interesting to me than gravatic weapons. Let's go with... Better projectiles. Right click on that to get rid of them. So then, in the energy section, we can't get warp field precursors until we've explored um, our system, basically. So, what? Energy collection. Mm, no, 240. Let's go for better a better reactor. And then high-tech stuff. Uh, enhanced planetary surveying. That is... Um, yeah, that's probably not a bad idea, actually. Oh. Yeah, we'll go We'll go enhanced planetary surveying first. And then, you know, we're obviously going to need to move on to some of the more interesting stuff. 
so uh, whilst we're whilst we're looking at that, actually, research stations. So 12, 12k, um, and uh, with an actual output of 13k. So um, what we need to do now is build a spaceport, and I'm going to design one from from scratch, basically. Now I like to delete <laughs> pretty much all of these. Uh, can I right delete? Yeah, there we go. Um, so let's add a new one, and um, I want a spaceport. So we'll go with large spaceport. The, the the difference between small, medium, large actually doesn't really matter whilst you're um, um yeah, it, it really doesn't matter. It's more of a description. Really. It, it, it totally depends on what you put on there. So point blank range, point blank, yeah. Um, well, actually, isn't all weapons a better thing? You just fire, because it, obviously it can't invade, it can never flee. Image scaling, well, we'll leave the image as it is, you can can alter the, uh, the size of the pictures. Right, so, let's have a look at what we need. Uh, we will need crew living quarters, but firstly, we're going to need... Um, construction. So these three plants to construct things. Uh, power. So we'll put just a reactor on there. Weapons. Let's have... Um, we'll go with ten missiles. So unlike Star Drive, you don't, um, you don't choose the location. It's basically a shopping list and a size uh, which which is which is absolutely fine. Um, you know, it's not as for me, it's not as interesting, but it 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 really does work. Um, so we don't want directional jests on a space station. Not no mining equipment. So we've got construction. We'll probably add more fuel cells. Um, yeah, let's actually store up some fuel on there, and we will need cargo bays, places for docking, a sensor. Yeah, we want that. Uh, no, we don't need a resource one. A command center, commerce, yep. Yeah. And then research. I'll hold off any research in this station, and we'll 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 build some custom ones. Now then, construction yards. So let's go with ten construction yards. And um, so I've, I've got a lot of warnings up here that I'm going to need to deal with. So first is um, we need more life support. And we need some more habitation. Now I think as well, let's go with some more, uh, more of these. And that means we've got more requirements. At the moment, we haven't got really any defences. No shields, no armour, nothing like that. Um, so that's something we need to research pretty swiftly. So the name, we'll just call it uh, Shipyard. Um, main Shipyards. Okay, uh, oops. So, um, so we don't have a supply of all of these. We don't, I don't want to add labs. We haven't got shields, we haven't got armor. We haven't got energy collectors, and the reactor power is inadequate. That is not a surprise. So let's um, uh, let's go with a few reactors. So we've got excess energy output now. Um, I'm thinking we may want some more fuel cells, you know. Let's have a look. So we've got construction, three reactors, commerce, sensors. Yeah, so let's um, let's save that now. And, um, close, uh, yeah, okay, well, we'll sort all of this out in a moment. So, I want to build at Xterra Prime this large spaceport that's going to cost 3,000, well, close to 4,000. So, we'll, let's just advance the game there and get that going. Now, um, 
with the with the design. What have we got? Show all designs. Well, yeah, get rid of these. Yeah, let's get rid of those. And uh, yeah, uh, we we will need some of these. Yeah, mining station, gas mining. Yeah. We'll deal with all of those in just a little bit. Let's advance the game, guys. It's only now that we're actually advancing the game. And uh, let's... Um... That is that is such an annoying name. Cy Murth Major. Anyway. So, uh, right, so I said to put us on the edge of the galaxy, but we're, we're kind of on the edge of... Well, we're pretty much middle, if you ask me. We couldn't really... Be more middle while staying on the edge, I suppose. But anyway, look at look at how big this is. Look at it. And this is the thing that blows my mind with this game. We've got one star. That's one star. And you zoom in, and then this star has many many planets around it. Right. So we've got all of these, and um, then some of these planets will have moons, and these moons each have their own. Um, characteristics, things that we can, you know, mine on them and do all sorts too. This is a uh, an abandoned spaceship or a um, you know a desolate one. Um, so actually, yeah, let's let's advance the game. Uh, so they should be building this uh, the shipyard now and getting on with things. Um, how's that cash flow? We should just leave things for a little moment. Now then, another thing about this game is the resources are incredibly important. So let's just have a look at um, Terra, uh, Terra Prime, X Terra Prime. So we've got carbon fiber, that's good for building stuff. Uh, chromium, uh, polymer, and necrostone. So necrostone is quite useful. And if you click on any of these, it'll bring you up a, um, you know, bring you up a sort of a kind of a wiki. Type description of it. Uh, we've got an asteroid belt over here. Now some of these asteroids will have interesting things on them that can be mined. The level of detail is mental. So these space slugs, um, we'll have to sort of deal with those in a bit. Um, but the biggest priority, for me I find anyway, is obviously we need to go out and explore these, um, these planets. Um, because somewhere there will be a, um, well, I say somewhere, it's up here, right? Um, there will be a, uh, a pillar or something. So here we've got a stone pillar. And in there will be the secrets to um, sort of um, faster than light travel. Um, so, yeah, our priority is to get out and explore our, our own system. And then, as well as getting the faster than light travel, we really must, and generally there is, I think, in fact I think it might be coded that there always is, we need to find a fuel source. And I think it'll probably be at this gas giant here. There's, um, there's helium a bit later on in the game, I think it's helium or hydrogen, uh, I forget which one of those two gases it is. And then there's Kazlon, which is the most um, sort of uh, useful one at the start of the game. It could be this gas giant here, we'll have to go and have a look. So uh, you can see the construction is uh, is ongoing. I'll just um... ooh, how's our income? Cash flow? Yeah, it's slightly positive. That's all right. Because the more you um, the more you tax you people, the lower the uh, the birth rate, basically. So in early game, I would generally suggest you know lowering your tax rate and getting your population up. Some people don't do that because they th think it's you know it's a little bit cheesy, but um, you know I'm I'm okay with with doing that. So let's uh, let's go up to four times speed. So it just cranks it out. Okay, so we've constructed our spaceport uh, and uh, pause the game. So ooh, pause the game. So now I need to design a scout ship. So go into designs, and uh, we need a new one. So the role is going to be a 
Well, it's probably explorer actually, rather than scout, isn't it? Um, there we go, exploration ship. Um, and um, so evade, yeah, evade. Do not invade. Flee when I think flee when attacked is probably what I want. So we'll put a reactor on there. No weapons. Movement ion thrusters, yeah, so we'll stick them on. Directional jets, um, no mining, no construction, it will need power. Commerce, no, no sensors, yes, so it's going to need sensors and a resource sensor. It'll need a command center, uh, none of these, none of these, so the crew will need life support. So let's call it... Um, Oh, I don't know, Pioneer. And um, we... It's very small at the moment. We've got more room, actually. Um, and it'll tell me somewhere what the maximum size is. But for now, let's just fill it up with stuff. So you can see over here the movement uh, profile. And basically, it's kind of bugger all at the moment. So we need to add a lot more. Um, and because you've added more ion thrusters, that means we need more of other things. So there we go. And basically, I'm going to add as many ion thrusters as I can, right? Because there we go. So uh, the maximum is 250, and we've gone up to 271. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to reduce down these until we get uh, back under our requirements and then add on some of these. Um, yeah, so it's still over though. Right, okay, so we're now back in, in limit. Um, so the cruise speed is 51, sprint 31. Um, do we want directional jets? It would be handy to be able to turn around a bit faster, actually. So you, we see the turning degrees, right, 10 degrees per second. Um, and, um, yeah, do we do anything else? No. Okay, so we're, I've filled, basically, the ship up to its maximum size. We've got power, we've got movement, um, fuel cells. This is this is what I was forgetting. We need more fuel, I reckon. Um what is what is the range? Right, so the range is 51% of our system diameter, um, which is which isn't enough because it means we can only go out 20. So you know, let's call it 50%. We can only go out 50, uh, 25%, so only a quarter of our system before we have to come back. So we need more fuel. So I would say. Let's go to 138 of the system. No, no, no. There we go, 157, I reckon. Which does mean we have to sacrifice other components. So we can't get rid of... Oh, we, we, you know, we can't get rid of life support. Which means bringing down the speed, you see. And that is a pain. Um, okay. So 23... 51 speed. Yeah, you know, it's all right. It's all right. Let's um, let's save that then. And um, I know, I know. So we now need to build two. Uh, how many should we have? Yeah, I think just two. There's no there's no point in having millions at this stage because they're um, they become quickly outdated. And I don't like doing that actually. Um, Sorry, I'm just trying to remind myself. I gotta click. Stop clicking that. Remind myself how I preferred to do this. I think it's Terra Prime. And then no, no, I don't like that. I'm sure there's a better way of uh, building uh, construction construction yards. This is what I was after, right? So this shows you where you can build things. So. Terra Prime could build um, constructors, uh, and it can build spaceports, but it can't build ships. You need a spaceport to be able to do that. 
So I'm going to queue up two of these pioneers at, uh, at the spaceport. And then we also need to design a constructor which will be built on the planet itself. So um, let's go to add new. The role is going to be a construction ship. And I just need to find that from the list. There it is. Yeah, evade, evade, um, flee when attacked. And uh, so we need some power, no weapons, movement, let's put five on there, two thrusters, mining. So we need one each of these. So weapons, high energy. Do we? I, you know, I, I might be just making that up. We may not need them on the constructor. We'll stick them on, we'll stick them on just in case. Fuel cells we will need. Docking bay. Um, we don't need a docking bay. We don't really need sensors. We will need a command center. Don't need any of these. Construction. We will need a construction yard. And we obviously need uh, life support. So, oh, it's telling us it must have a docking bay. Fair enough. And it's got to have cargo module. Yep. Yeah, um, Right, so let's bump up the life support and habitation until they, those warnings disappear. And um, well, we'll just con call it Constructor Mark 1. And um, we will need... So let's have a look. Um, I think the construction yard, there's only point in having maybe one on here, is my guess. That is so slow. We need to try and uh, try and speed it up if we can. So why not go for? Mm, how many can we put on here before you start really complaining? Fifty. But you can see that um, because we're underpowered, um, it's not actually <laughs> it's not actually adding much to the speed. We do need, I think, some more. Um, we're going to need some more cargo. And so let's reduce down that. I think we need another reactor. You can see now the speed's gone up because the reactor is actually powering it. But let's, let's reduce these down to a more manageable level. Down to 20. Yeah. Um, directional jets. Yeah, we can have a couple more of those. We need more crew and uh, habitation. Uh, there's obviously going to be technologies that make these more efficient. But I think for now... Oh, power. Um, 47... Is, yeah, I made fuel, sorry. Yeah, we need more fuel. Okay, so it can reach the whole system, at least. And, uh, yeah, let's save that. Yes, I know, I know. Um, so I need to now go to Construction Yards, and then on Xterra Prime, we will build a constructor. And let's advance the game. I'm thinking now that one of the things I could have done to make life easier was actually retain the original designs for things like constructors and um, little freighters. Um, it's perhaps not interesting on YouTube to watch me design all those basic things, but it's what I would do in my normal game. I like to sort of see how um, how things develop. Um, so anyway, enjoy. <laughs> enjoy me clicking and adding little components to my shopping list, but it, you know, it's a core part of this game. I will say, guys, that um, I did have a bit of trouble getting uh, getting this to load and work on. I got sort of a relatively fresh Windows 10 installation, and this is now quite an old game. So you need to um, download and install DirectX 9 to get that working. Um, and... Um, 
Yeah, fleet spaces. We don't need to get into any of this stuff for the moment. It's a very deep game. Um, yeah, we don't need to deal with, deal with any of that. Let's uh, let's move things along until we get our first um, scout produced. There we go. It's coming along. It's taken a while because we've got just a small little shipyard. Eventually, uh, eventually we'll get faster and be able to build bigger things, obviously. Okay, so we've got our first starship constructed. Uh, let's uh, let's reduce the speed back down and uh, let's pause it for a second. So, not that one. You can actually select ships that are. Uh, that aren't actually built. Uh, let's just let the game advance a bit. Which one is completed? The Elusive Navigator. Gosh, that is an odd design when you compare it to... Yeah, an odd sort of silhouette when you compare it to the other human ones. Right, so, my buddy. You need to go explore... Uh, yeah, in this direction. So move here. You can see, actually, I haven't pointed this out, that as well as all these thousands and thousands of, well, not thousands, hundreds and hundreds of stars, and within those stars, all of these planets and moons, each of them orbits. So the planets orbit the stars, and then the moons orbit the planets. Um, yeah, absolutely brilliant. So he's he's chugging away now, so... He's going at um, 26, which is which is so slow. Um, yeah, it is uh, it is very very slow. Um, so is that a failing in my design? Let's just have a little look. Uh, let's update. Maybe I didn't put enough power on there. Yeah, I could have got far more power, actually. Sorry, I could have got more speed. Up to 64. Uh, but then we'd need to... So perhaps we actually sacrifice um, some of the thrusters. Can we then lose some crew? No, we can't lose some crew yet. Um, maybe lose a little bit of fuel capacity. Okay, so let's let's save that. And uh, yeah, I know, I know, I know. Let's let things play out. But um, this exploration ship, when it's built, we will um, we'll refit it and see whether we can build a faster design, because he is going to take a while. But um, I'm I, <laughs> I'm having fun. We haven't even left our own system yet. Is the is the reality? Um, so let's uh, let's see how we get on. Let's um, let's bump the speed up a bit until the next one's complete. Which uh, yeah does take a little while. Okay, so that ah, pause. Oh, did we build another two? We did. Gosh. How did I manage to do that? Uh, you're not building me any ships, are you? Colonization, colonies, research and design, construction, control manually. Must have done it accidentally. Uh, let's go into um, construction yards. Have I got any more queued up? Oh, actually, hang on, hang on. That's an exploration ship. Oh, they're both exploration ships. Oh, is this? Have I just sent my constructor out? Oh, Ben, you're an absolute plonker.
So move back. Uh, I just sent my construction ship out. Guys, honestly. But I did, oddly, there was improvements to the... <laughs> there was improvements to the exploration ship I was able to make. Um, let us go then send one of them over here. And uh, let's start the game. And then you, my friend, move over to this gas giant. So how fast are they going? 51. That's more like it. So we'll bring back the um, the constructor and let's have a look at the... So these pioneers then. Oh, actually, are these pi... Ah, bloody hell. Um, hang on. Retrofit to Mark II. Because I think we can squeeze some more speed out of you. And speed is important. And then our constructor. Let's manually upgrade uh, the design. And what if we add more... Yeah, we don't actually gain much speed, do we? By adding more power on. But we do if we add more ion thrusters. Uh, so we add 5 on, that takes us from 26 up to 31. But it does mean we need more of these modules. It takes us down to 30. Okay, well that's that's okay. And um, let's just switch those down to just showing the latest designs. Yeah, I know, I know. So, anyway guys, I will end this uh, episode here. A little bit of a false start. I do need to get these um, these exploration ships upgraded and uh, sent out. And um, yeah, well, I hope you've enjoyed the, the, the content. Not that there's been much... I've mostly been setting up the game, but that is the, that is the nature of this game. You know, we're going to take it steady and just enjoy it. And um, yeah, I will see you in the next one, guys. Thanks very much.